Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. On this video, we are covering CCNA semester 3, Scaling Network Chapter 8, EIGIP Advanced Configuration and Troubleshooting. This is section 8.2, Troubleshooting EIGIP. Upon completion of this section, you should be able to explain the process and tools used to troubleshoot the EIGIP network. Troubleshoot network adjacency issues in the EIGRP network and troubleshoot missing routing entries in the EIGRP routing table. Basic EIGRP troubleshooting commands. Several commands that are useful when troubleshooting EIGRP networks are, for example, show IP EIGRP neighbors. This, will, this command will verify that the router recognizes its neighbors. Then show IP root. This, will, this command will verify that a router has learned the root to remote network through EIGRP. Show IP protocols. Command verifies the EIGRP configuration values for various properties of an, any enabled routing protocols. Similar commands and troubleshooting criteria also applies to EIGRP for IPv6. So we have show IPv6 EIGRP neighbors, show IPv6 root, show IPv6 protocols. So the first commands we are we are finding out all our neighbors are the do we do we have all the neighbors that we supposed to, and if don't we don't we, then we troubleshoot show IPv6 root for example we see all the routes they appear or we do we receive all the routes from each neighbors, and then show IPv6 protocols here we can see like for example um, do uh, some attributes do they match like autonomous system number or k values, the troubleshooting can happen from there. So diagnosing EIGRP connectivity issue, connectivity issue due to routine. Is the neighbor table correct? So if we if it's not, then we should troubleshoot that. First thing that we need to do when we troubleshoot and when we don't see the neighbor there, they're supposed to be on our, our EIGRP table, we look at the interfaces. Are they operational? Are they up? Status up? Protocol up? Can we ping the neighbor? Are the interfaces enabled for EIGRP? Maybe we have not advertised that interface. Does EIGRP autonomous system match? If there's any interfaces that is configured as a passive, these are the troubleshooting steps. Some of the commands that we could use, for example, show IP, EIGRP neighbors. Do we have our neighbors? Show IP interface brief, check the interfaces are up. I got an IP address. Or show IP EIGRP interfaces to see that we have actually enabled for EIGRP. If the neighbor table is correct, but the routing table is not correct, then we need to troubleshoot. And some of the commands there we could use, for example, are you actually advertising the networks that you're supposed to? Or maybe there's an access control list that is blocking this advertisement. Is there another routing protocol with a lower administrative distance, administrative distance being used? For example, the static route has a lower administrative distance than EIGRP, and EIGRP route will not be there. Is there a discontinuous network issues? Here we're going to see later on, for example, with the automatic summarization where we have a discontinuous network, some issues that we're going to have there. The commands that we can see use are show IP protocols or show IP root EIGRP. If the routing table is correct, but the traffic is taking not desired path, then we have to troubleshoot. And some of the things that we can troubleshoot here is to verify the interface bandwidth that is being correctly configured. Like that, the command that we're going to use is show IP EIGRP interface. If the path is taken correctly that you want, then it's just functional network. So for example, the first command, we have a neighbor issues between router 1 and router 2. So we go to router 1 and we do show IP interface brief. Here we can check that, that actually the interface is connecting between router 1 and router 2 is operational. So status is up and the protocol, so layer 1 is up and layer 2 is up and it's got an IP address. The next thing is to actually ping the neighbor. Can we ping the router to? So ping 172.16.3.2. And we have five exclamation marks, which is success rate is 100%. The equivalent command that can be used in EIGRP for IPv6 is show IPv6 interface brief. Then we check the autonomous system number to making sure that they have it matches because AS number has to match. So show IP protocols on router one and we can see the EIGRP1, it's fine. We do the same on IP on router 2, and then we can see the router 2 is using same AS. So that's not the problem. 
First, we could ping the, the neighbor. Autonomous system number is fine. Next command, show IP, EIGRP interfaces. With this command, we can see what interfaces have been enabled for EIGRP. For example, we can see that G00 has been enabled for EIGRP and has no peers on it. Then serial 000 has been enabled for EIGRP as well as serial 001 as enabled for EIGRP. Then show IP protocols here to verify that again the autonomous system number is correct as well as the K values as well as what networks we are advertising. So we see the EIGRP autonomous system number one and the networks that we advertise in anything that starts with 172.16.00 which is this network and this network and anything that starts with 192.168.10.0, which is this network here. You can see the passive interface is gigabit 00, which is correct. Show, show running config, section EIGRP, will say router EIGRP1, the network 172.16 advertised, what network 192.168.10.0, and we can see the passive interface is G00. Now we go to the router 2, we do the repeat the same commands, and we do show IP protocol, and in router 2, by mistake, we find that serial 000 has been on the passive mode as well. So to fix, that's why the, there's no relationship or neighbor relationship with router 1. Because this interface here, serial 00, should not be a passive mode. Passive means do not send hello messages on that interface. And if there's no hello messages, you're not going to have any neighbors. So to fix that, we have to go to the router, router 2 and say no passive interface serial 000. Then when we show IP EIGRP neighbors, we can see that we have a router 1 as our neighbor. Troubleshooting a missing network statement, for example, from router 3, we are pinging from this router, we are pinging this network. So ping 10.10.10.1, and we are not getting any replies. We see five dots, we don't see any replies. When we do show IP protocols on router 1, we can see that we are routing for 172.16.00, this network here, 192.168.10.0, this network here, but we are not routing for network 10.10.10.0. So we have to, for that reason, router 3 cannot reach network 10. So we go to router 1 and we say router EIGRP1 network 10.0.0.0. So we add that on the configuration commands on the EIGRP config. And then when we go to show IP route on router uh, 3, we can see that we now see the network 10.10.10.0 and when we ping that the IP address on that network we have 5 exclamation mark which is success rate is 100%. Discontiguous networks, for example if we have auto summarization on and imagine the router, 10, uh, router 1 has got this network 10.10.10.0 forward slash 24 and router 3 has got 10.20.20.0 forward slash 24. Now automatic summarization is going to summarize this network in the class full boundary so router 1 is going to summarize it to 10.000 forward slash 8 and router 3 is going to summarize it to the same network now as far as router 2 is concerned it is uh, receiving the same network from two sources so what it's going to do is going to load balance it's going to send 50 percent of the packets towards there and 50 percent of the packets towards router 3 for anything that starts with network 10. So if a packet comes in for network for IP address, say 10.10.10.5, which is somewhere on this network, 50% of the packets are going to make it to the destination, and 50% of the packets are not going to make it to the destination. Show IP protocols on router uh, 1, for example, we can see the automatic summarization is enabled, and router 2 as well, uh, sorry, router 3 has got automatic. To fix this problem, we have to go to each router, router 1 and router 3, and say no auto summary. Now when we say show IP root on router 2, we can see that we have two more specific networks rather than summarized network. Thank you very much for watching. Please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Astrid Krasnici. Bye bye.